Hello and welcome to this quick start guide to using Git on RHEL with GitHub. First I'll create a new repository in GitHub for this tutorial. Keeping it public and I'll initialize it with a readme. Ensuring clone with SSH is selected, it's worth taking a note of the URL. So back on, in this case, a rel8 host. Install git if it's not already present. I'm a user called user in a project directory from a previous Spring Boot tutorial. Using the git command, I'll initialize this directory as a git repository. Using git status, as expected, nothing has been added or committed yet. I'm going to add the source directory. Git will include any files under this directory, which can be seen using git status again. I can now commit these files locally. Git has actually provided the commands needed to configure the user email and name, which is required before being able to commit the changes. Once configured, I can now redo the commit, and this time it should be successful. Checking what files are being tracked again, for good measure, I'll add the pom.xml file also. To push this to the remote repository, I'll need to add the repository I created in GitHub at the start. But wait, the clue here is, please make sure you have the correct access rights. So under settings and deploy keys, you can add public keys of users who require access to the repository. I'll quickly generate a key pair for our user and copy the public key. which can then be pasted into the deploy key in GitHub, remembering to check the allow write access. So back on the host, I can try pushing to origin master once again. It's been rejected and suggesting to do a pull first. This is because the new repository was initialized with a readme, so contains a file. It's also refusing to pull because of unrelated histories. If this occurs, simply do the pull with allow unrelated histories. Provide a comment for the merge, And finally, retry the push, this time working fine.
and as you can see the files from the Spring Boot project are now visible along with the readme that was already present in the repository. For further demonstration, I'll create a new directory and clone the git repository as is. Updating the README, I can make a change and commit, then push the file, all without too much fuss, because everything for this user, on this host, is now set up for Git, with this tutorial repository. Thanks for watching, good luck and skill up.